Javier Patriz is a project manager for energy management systems at Forevia. And you got quite a display here. I had no idea, Javier. You know, I know Forevia, Hella, for headlamps and that. You guys are deep into anything to do with electric cars. That's right. It's a little surprise that we carry on with pride in our, in our company. Thank you, John, for taking this time. Um, yeah, what you see right now is our 2030 vision. It's our electrification vision of, the, of vehicles uh, in the industry. Um, let's start with the e-lid here. We have a port that's your source of energy and that would then carry that energy into your onboard charger. We carry this in 11 kilowatt uh, variants or 22 kilowatt variants. That would then in turn carry your energy and transmit it through the DC-DC uh, converters. It can be high voltage, it can be low voltage converters. In this case we have a 3.6 kilowatt uh, converter. Uh, and that then uh, leads that energy source to your battery pack or to other alternative sources of energy, such as this 12-volt 12 li lithium-ion battery. You also carry this in a 48-volt uh, variant. Um, now, over here, you can also hear the combination of our BMS system, a battery management system. This is a BMU. This is where the software, this is where the brains are. And these are CMU, cell monitoring units. They monitor and balance the, the, the cells within the battery pack. What's innovative about our next step is this little guy here. And I say little guy because we call it a high voltage power box, um, but it packs more than just being a little. Uh, it's, it can deliver up to 3.6 kilowatt um, per liter of power density. and. You'd be amazed, but this can carry an onboard charger, a DC-DC converter, and a BMU, all into one. So you're um, saying all of this stuff yes. here is packaged now into this one long rectangular unit. That is correct, John. That's that blue box that you can see here. We have managed to package that into a, si into a smaller footprint. This is innovative for our customers. Not only can it reduce um, uh, re reduce the weight of the of the whole package by about 20 to 25 percent. Um, it the the power density is increased. We can achieve a higher um, efficiency when it comes to charging, up to 97 percent. This reduces the losses for for our customers, and eventually even the end customer can have a more efficient product. It's it's all about performance package, and it doesn't even have to be this this. Um, this design or this configuration. We will adapt it to the customer needs depending on the space that they have around their battery pack. Um, and I mentioned only these three products here in the blue box, onboard charger, DC-DC, BMU, but you could also decide to integrate a secondary DC-DC um, if the architecture were to require it. For example, if you want to manage higher uh, range of voltage and lower voltage range within the same unit. So we can do it all. I, I got to imagine too, by packaging all these units into this one, you've greatly reduced the wiring connecting them all. That's correct. Here you have the, 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 in, the input wire, orange, the famous orange, very costly wire, and two outputs that would eventually connect to the battery pack. In this case, you have only one input and only one output to the battery pack. This is this is just uh, an, uh, a port for the vehicle to load, vehicle to grid, vehicle to vehicle type of situation. But yes, you are essentially right. You're, we are reducing the cost to the OEM, not only in packaging all within a smaller footprint, a more efficient footprint. Um, it's one supplier, so one assembly process, less cabling you name it, it's it's a game changer. You know what I love about it, Javier? This is a great example of how the auto industry keeps making progress on taking cost and mass out of making electric cars. That's correct, John. Yep, we, and you have to because vehicles are getting heavier, so you have to challenge yourself. How do you make existing legacy products into a smaller product? This is what the industry and innovation is all about. Talking about innovation, and I, briefly mentioned this is um, in this would be water a combination of water cooling and air cooling we also have for that for that purpose our CCH uh, or in this case a CCH max a cooling control so CCH hub. stands for what cooling control hub 
Okay, yes. so, I mean, it's, it's essentially a heat pump too, right? That's correct. And traditionally, vehicles have their pumps distributed around the vehicle. This essentially concentrates it. Again, same idea, bring everything together, make it more efficient, and use that point to distribute your, your in this case, your manage your thermal um, aspects of the vehicle. It can do cooling, it can do heating for batteries, for the cabin, for the passenger, you name it, and everything electronically. So we're t speaking of brushless motors here that can regulate that flow at a moment's need. In the same manner, um, I'd like to mention here our IPDM. This is our integrated power distribution module. We're very proud of this product. Um, recently won the Pace Pilot Innovation to Watch Awards. And uh, we're excited to see which customer also comes on board with us in North America. We do have a customer already prepared in uh, Europe, SOP in 2025. But essentially what this does, it replaces that um, traditional physical fuse box in your engine compartment and converts it into a digital one. So this is a famous e-box um, as, as we also call it. You can connect 12 volt, you can connect 48 volt loads and you can distribute it. You can monitor up to 80 channels uh, with this single unit that you see here. You can basically monitor the current flowing um, in those 80 channels from 0.1 um, amps to 250 amps, so it's a very wide spectrum. Um, and when detecting any possible failure, reduce that, that current, that power that's being distributed there. So essentially the same action as an e-fuse, uh, as, a, as a traditional fuse. Um, so we're excited about this. Um, another idea would be, depending on the vehicle architecture, you could use three of these and say section it and have one per section of the vehicle. Therefore, you kind of manage your, your vehicle um, peripherals per section. So I, again, very, very versatile product. Yeah, we're seeing a lot of automakers go to zonal computing, zonal centralized. That's correct. That would tie in perfect for that, right? This would be the zonal, zonal architecture that you're talking about. Got it. Yeah. So, and then tell me about this uh, little battery here. What's this all about? Yes. So this, as you can see, is um, a small footprint. Um, this essentially replaces what uh, traditional vehicles have um, in a lithium, in a um, lead acid, acid battery. Lead so this acid is a bat lithium battery. This is a lithium battery. This is a 12 volt lithium battery. And um, you can see the package is about a third the size of a traditional lead acid battery. Um, in terms of weight, it is also lighter. And not only that, it packages electronics. So it packages your battery ma management uh, system. In, in a traditional lead acid battery, you would find this little guy here, the intelligent battery sensor, which measures the current, the voltage, and the temperature of your battery, and then relays that information to the BMS. Here, you provi we provide it already integrated. So again, a game changer in terms of weight, size, uh, longevity, it has a uh, higher um, lifespan like of functionality, higher? about two to three times longer than uh, a lead acid battery. That's important because lithium batteries are more expensive, but if they're going to last two or three times longer, maybe they're not really that much more expensive. That's correct, and maybe the least you want to do is have your uh, end customer also having to change that battery so often. They want it to work and work the entire lifespan. So you can achieve that with our products. Very interesting. Well, like I said, Javier, I've always known Hella, Forvia for headlamps and things like that. This is a totally two new, different level of things from the company. We're excited to bring all of these to market with everyone in North America. Thanks very much. Thank you. As experts in direct current switching and control, Scheldtbau and Edesi, a Scheldtbau brand, are at the front leading the charge in developing and manufacturing the necessary electromechanical components for the future. Each system and application will require conditions in which a stable connection, secure contact, and safe control of power are vitally important. These challenging conditions are what make Scheldtbau and Edesi qualified for this future.